All right, in this video, I wanna explain why currency is not wealth. Okay, and the too much holding of any currency, and since I normally talk about cryptocurrency, I'm referring to cryptocurrency, too much holding of that currency is actually detrimental to the health of its currency network. Okay, so I'm going to give some examples. I'm gonna start with this example, is that imagine that you're on an island and you are the only person on that island. Okay, but you had tons and tons of currency. So everything that we've used in the past, uh, dollar bills and you know, you have like shells and um, different types of coins and all of this stuff. And you also have Bitcoin and Ether and all these different cryptocurrencies, okay? But you're the only person on the island. Okay, would you be wealthy? The answer of course is no, okay? Because it is completely worthless to you. It's just stacks of paper. If instead you had the ability to press a button and materialize a house or press a button and materialize cars and roads and airplanes and other people and food and all this kind of stuff, then you would be wealthy. Okay, so currency itself is not wealth. It is a tool that we use to create wealth. Okay, more specifically, it's a tool that we use for exchange. But our true source of wealth is our ability to produce assets. And then collectively, our source of wealth is the ability to have multiple people that have the ability to produce different types of assets and then exchange them uh, with each other. Okay, and that's what currency allows us to do. Okay, to demonstrate this with pictures, which is always nice, uh, I have this awesome book here called Visualizing Change. And I want to show you a chapter in this book, which is uh, the rise and fall of the Roman Empire. Okay, so on its ascent, you had all these different nodes in a network that were really good at producing different assets. So some people made great olive oil, other people made beautiful clothing, other people were able to build beautiful buildings and all this kind of stuff. And they're all connected here through Italy. It was one of the, the hubs. I'm sure they had other hubs, but this was like the main hub, right? And all these people had different assets they were able to produce. And because they were all interlinked and interconnected, there was able to be this huge amount of prosperity that we think of uh, when we conjure up images of the Roman Empire, right? All this beautiful architecture and the beautiful clothes and, you know, just this prosperity that we think of. So in a similar way, Cryptocurrency, you could think of, is imagine you have all these people interlinked on the internet, and some people are good at producing some, you know, in most cases it's a digital asset. So maybe this person's good at creating some sort of content. This person's good at making video games. This person's good at writing software. This person's good at graphic design, whatever. Okay, and the more people you have connected, and the more they're easily able to exchange with one another, then the more prosperity we can grow collectively. Right? the more we could improve our collective wealth. And there is no limit to how much wealth we can grow. There is in most cases, and there should be a limit to how much currency there is, okay? but there is no limit to how much wealth there is. okay? Because currency is always exchanging hands, but wealth is always growing. Okay? But if people get confused and they think that currency is wealth, then they might end up creating more currency. Okay, and that will be the fall of the trade networks. Okay, because currency is basically measuring where value is coming from. So if you have a hub where a lot of currency is being collected, then you know that like, let's say this person's olive oil is like one of the most valuable things in this network. Okay, and so currency accumulates to those who are producing value in a healthy society, right? And so it's like a, it's like a, a, a measurement of where value is coming from. But if you just start creating currency, then you're adding noise to that network. It's like adding static to a radio, where it's like you can't see where the value is coming from. And the more that they did this, where they just diluted the currency supply and they added more and more coins to the network, the value went down and down, and then the entire uh, empire collapsed. So currency itself is not wealth. It is a tool that we use to exchange, 
and in doing so we create more wealth okay wealth is the the cars and wealth is the technology and the phones and all this kind of stuff uh, that we create from exchange so if everybody just hodled as is a popular term in cryptocurrency or if everybody just held their currency and nobody exchanged think about what that would do to your local community so if i like stop spending any money okay the local and everybody else stopped spending too then the local supermarket would go out of business uh, you know all the places you frequent the gym the smoothie place uh, the the car factory everything would go out of business okay and what would you be left with you'd be left with a collapsed empire okay so it's confusing because most people measure other people's wealth in terms of currency right what's this person's net worth oh it's a hundred million dollars or what's this person's net worth it's a billion dollars okay but most billionaires do not have a billion dollars in cash in the bank Right? They own a asset producing or yeah, like an asset producing asset, like a company that it's they have ownership of a company that produces assets, right? So they're wealthy because they have the ability to produce assets. They're not wealthy because they have a bunch of cash. Okay? So currency itself is not wealth. Wealth is the ability to produce assets, and then our collective wealth is how good we are at exchanging those assets between each other, like I showed you in the Roman Empire. And then currency is just a tool that allows us to do that with more ease, okay? So that is my rant for today. So this hodling culture, in some sense is okay, because you, know, you wanna only spend money if it's something that you believe in. But if everybody just held, think about what that would do to the network. It would just completely collapse it. So what we really want to do if we want to increase the value of any currency network is create more people that are willing to accept it. Okay, Make it easier to exchange. Create better wallets uh, and tools and apps that allow you to exchange it. Okay, That is our true, true source of wealth and that's what, what is going to give the currency its actual value. All right, so that's my rant for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in another one. Bye.